Genshin Impact just added guns and a dispatch again option. But where is the reserved resin feature, Hoyovers? Anyways, here is a rundown of everything that is coming with version 4.3. Starting off with the new characters and event banners, Navia is here in all her glory. She is a Geo character and by the looks of it, she will be a DPS who will finally make use of the forgotten crystallized reaction. Chevreus is a 4-star pyro character who has a gun as her elemental skill. Yeah, but she is a polearm character. She looks like a hybrid healer slash DPS. Can't say how good she will be, but guns? Gangsta Impact baby! Banners for the first phase are Navia and Ayaka with Navia's signature weapon Verdict and it looks so sick. And all you Raiden Sims, rejoice for she has finally returned alongside Yoimiya. They did her dirty again with their signature weapons of course and Chevreus will be available in the second phase. Now it's time for the Primo Gem stuff, I mean events. Rose and Musket is the first and the main event of version 4.3. This event will see the return of Ayaka and Ayato and a new person from Inazuma, Chiyori. This event will consist of various different activities which consist of thousand places blah 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 this is the name of the event basically you will play as a hitman and snipe the poor helichers and yes more guns next is trick shots tricky light this is a combat event with its own special gimmick next event is where you chase some fungi looking things yeah and this has a co-op mode too last event is the waiting under the sweltering sun in this one players will have to take pictures and pick dialogues to make a movie out of it this looks like a really cool event ito is back with his onikabuto shenanigans with the new arataki blade armor beetle battle boot camp. It is a beetle battle event with some new ways to battle your opponents and utterly destroy them. Lost Riches is coming back that means another new little Sealy companion and Primo jumps of course and there will be a new Sealy that will also follow you underwater. Next is Dance of Resolute Will. This is another combat event with its own special gimmick where you will have to complete certain challenges and this event will also have trial characters. And last but not least, Levin is making his return with easy Primo gems. Two new artifact sets will be introduced which are Nighttime Whispers in the Echoing Woods and the song of days past. There is also some TCG updates for those of you who cares about it. Five new cards will be added and oh my god is that Signora? Boy Signora is finally playable. Let's go. Forge Real Temper will be returning and there will be new TCG players in Fontaine. And lastly the quality of live updates. Now we can see which artifact set is recommended for a given character. Automatic artifact login system will be introduced and we will have two presets per artifact set and you can lock and unlock them in batches as well. Artifact leveling will now be easier with the new enhanced to next tier option and you can add more artifacts at once to upgrade your artifacts as well. But hold on for a sec, still no artifact loadouts? What the fuck are you? They are making changes to the leveling screen to make it less tedious and now you can add multiple weapons at once while refining, thanks a lot for that. Next update is a huge time saver. After 4.3, if you select continue challenge in an artifact domain, you will be teleported directly to the fighting area. And finally, there is a dispatch again option now and a claim all option where it is applicable. And lastly, underwater realm layout will be added and it looks pretty cool but how you worse? Where is the reserve resin feature. Please, we need it. So this was a rundown on everything that is coming with version 4.3 and now watch this video next.